Let's solve the compound inequality. First, we have x plus 3 is less than or equal to negative 1. Let's subtract 3 from both sides, and we have x is less than or equal to negative 4. Or, for our second inequality, let's first subtract 3 from both sides. We have negative 4x is less than negative 8. Let's divide both sides by negative 4. Remember, any time you multiply or divide by a negative number in an inequality, you reverse the direction. So we have x is greater than positive 2. So let's look at a number line. And let's graph this solution. First, we have x is less than or equal to negative 4. So starting at negative 4, we want numbers less than or equal to it, so we use the bracket and we draw our arrow to the left. Or, x is greater than 2, we start at positive 2 with a parenthesis because we have a strict inequality, there's no equal sign, and we draw our arrow to the right. Now how do we write our answer in set builder notation? Because we started with the word or, we want to write the set of all x such that we have two different intervals here. We have x that's less than or equal to negative 4, or we have values x that are greater than 2, and we express it just like that. The interval notation can be written by starting at negative infinity all the way to and including negative 4. Because we have the word or, we must write the union symbol from 2, but not including 2, so we use parentheses, to positive infinity.